Okay guys, today our episode is so special, but before we start, hit like and subscribe to our channel. So what's today's subject? Assalamu alaikum, my name is Sadar Yasser Ilyas Khan. I live in Pakistan. I'm a businessman and I'm the CEO of the Centaurus, the other side of Pakistan. How do rich people live the life of rich people in Pakistan? I mean, this is my first time seeing something like this. So today we're gonna show you and also give you some advice from a very successful and achieving businessman while still in his 30s. And he's a billionaire, guys. A billionaire. Pakistani billionaire. He is a Pakistani trillionaire. <laughs> <laughs> and here is Pakistani, Pakistani trillionaire. <laughs> trillionaire. But he's very humble to show yeah. us around. Yeah. Pakistani rich people. So, in terms of my own life, I started when I was 18. I mean, I, I've been you know, in the family business for a long time. And uh, in terms of uh, schooling, I went to Saudi Arabia. I grew up in Saudi Arabia because my father was there. Uh, I was there for about 18 years. I went to a variety of schools. I was in uh, you know, an Arabic school. I went to Pakistani school so I could learn my own language. I went to uh, a British school. I went to an American school. I graduated from an American school uh, with a high school diploma. And from there, when I was uh, you know, 18, I went to Dubai. I had the option of going to London and Canada. But my parents said that if you stay close to home, it'll be easier for you to come and see us. So I went to Dubai. So I did that and then I worked for about two, three years in Dubai. I worked in real estate. I worked for my father. I bought real estate, developed it, refurbished. Now we joined them in their meeting. Right now he's discussing business. He left the US and the UK and all the other countries and came back to serve his own country. He said, I want to ask you, why did you come back to Pakistan? You know, if we can do something to make Pakistan good, better, it's a struggle. There's challenges here because it's a developing country. We are very happy. Uh, so you live in this building? Or? I live in this building as well. I have a house outside. The reason I live in this building at the moment is because I've made one of the nicest penthouses in Pakistan. It's, it's a very lavish. It's about 9,000 square feet. Mm. It's fully automated. Yeah. This is currently the second tallest building in Pakistan. The highest one I think is in Karachi at the moment, which is under construction. <laughs> and after that, we have this building. He has a company here inside the building itself, the shopping mall. A fully commercial building. The first that welcomes you. Look, this is a penthouse in the highest floor of the building. In the second most highest building in Pakistan. Look at the view. The pool and the jacuzzi. You can see the view from here. You can see the famous mosque of Islamabad that was built by King Faisal. May Allah bless him. He worked for more than 30 years in Saudi Arabia with his father. And then they transferred here and worked hard to grow it up. And they made... May, I, may we ask about the price of this apartment? $10 million roughly, give or take. $10 million. Eight, 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 $10 million. <laughs> a garden at the top of the tower. A garden and a pool. See one night here. <laughs> the other side of Pakistan. Those who know about Pakistan know that there's a high level of poverty. But there are wealthy businessmen. So basically, we're starting off with one of the most uh, lavish and one of the most unique penthouses in Pakistan. This property is about 9,000 square feet and uh, everything that you're seeing is mixed. It's semi-imported and uh, some of it is local. So you're looking at the furniture, it's local. And uh, in terms of automation, we've gone with Lutron. You can do the lights from here and you can go to the areas. So I've got the area of the living, the entrance, the lounge, the master bedroom. Areas again, this say off, all of this will turn off and I can have it partially on as well. And I can close sections, so I can do that separately, I can do that separately. We have yeah. one of the best uh, views, it's a full panoramic view of, of uh, Islamabad. Alhamdulillah, it's a blessing that we have such a unique location. Mm. The beauty is in the detail, this is all market. Looks like gold, man. It's, it's like all gold. inlay, it's all wooden inlay. It's wooden table. Handmade. Inlay. It's all handmade. And you like this color, like gold color? I love gold. Every gold day. is my favorite. The brass and gold <laughs> has to be everywhere. It's always about the details. And then same thing with the high gloss finish. And it's very modern, it's not something which is... And one thing I want to show you, so you know how, because in case your family or you want to cook something, so if he's cooking, my chef is cooking something, I can cook separately, I don't get disturbed. You can, you can do something else. Yes. Though, like so we have multiple properties, even in Dubai and London, but the thing is, uh, you know, a home is where the family is. So technically this is not a home for me, this is just a, a structure. Works. Please yes, that's a workplace. And that's a good thing, this is just below my office. So yeah. I can keep going up and down, up and down, to relax. <laughs> the thing is, any businessman that you see, not just a businessman, any successful person in life, 
you'll see them start the day early. In order to be productive, you have to wake up early, get your you know official work done, and then move towards other things that you know you have to do in terms of the. So it's uh, it's your mall. Yeah, it's my mall. Hey there. Hi. I'm Moose. One of the upcoming stars in Pakistan, actually, he's got a very versatile voice. I'm from a musical family, a lot of things coming up, so stay tuned. Okay. The rich people always must have artist friends. So he introduced us to his artist friends who are going to play guitar. Some very famous people in Pakistan. Let's see their performance now. <laughs> Faisal Mosque is one of the most famous mosques in Pakistan. And it's the most beautiful one. They call it Faisal Mosque. It's called Faisal Mosque, the most beautiful mosque I've ever seen. Its design is so unique. Look at the crowd. When these cars are in the streets, it's not normal. Unlike other countries, not like Dubai, because these cars are not regular. This car is like three cars in a row in Dubai. How do you manage your time as like business? Uh, it's, it's very difficult. I mean, I don't get to spend as much time with my friends as possible because my priority is my family. This is how his garage looks like when he goes down. All the building is his and this is his garage. And all the cars here are his. This one is armored, bulletproof. This motorbike is for races. You know, because Pakistan was under the British rule, they drive on the right side. That's why all countries that were under the British rule, like Singapore, Pakistan, India, and South Africa, they all drive on the right side. Oh. <laughs> I think it broke my eardrum. The BMW guys. Seriously, this is my first time I get in one. I always see it on the road, but this is my first time riding it. If you want more videos like this, give us a like. Let's hit 100,000 likes. The problem with this, you can't get out. <laughs> so you gotta get out like that. <laughs> don't, always don't give up. If you're passionate about something, don't give up on it. Always be persistent. With commitment, dedication, and persistency, you can achieve any task in life. Thank you so thank much. You. Thank you. Thank you. Joy's a pleasure. Yeah, thanks so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.